when I was eight years old. We used to, my sisters and I, my older sisters and I used to take the bus on weekends to visit my mom about an hour away in San Francisco. And one weekend we got there and my mom and her friends said, we're going to take you out to lunch at this really cool restaurant that's on the ocean there in San Francisco. And, and I was really excited about it because this restaurant had an arcade. And any restaurant that comes with an arcade is, is A plus to me. You know, that's five star dining. And so we went to this place and my mom gave us all quarters. So we all had, I think, four quarters there. And, and we were excited. So we started to go down and play the arcade games. And, you know, the first three quarters, I just plopped into games and played real quick. And then all of a sudden I realized I had one quarter left. And when you realize you only have one quarter left, all of a sudden you become a wise steward of your money, right? You start to think more carefully, well, what game should I play? This is a valuable decision because I want to play the game that's going to last the longest and give me the most bang for my buck, right? You don't want to just waste it on a game that's going to be over like that. You want to get the most out of it. So I took that quarter and I was looking around the arcade and I'm looking around, what game will last the longest? What will work? And all of a sudden my oldest sister says, Greg, come play this game. Now, she's my oldest sister, so you think I could trust her, right? So I asked her, are you sure? She said, oh, it's a great game. It'll last long and, and play this game. I'm like, you sure? She said, oh, yeah, play this game. So I take the last quarter I have in life. Trusting my oldest sister, I place it into the slot in the machine. I hear it go down, and nothing happens. The game took my quarter. Don't laugh, it hurts today. <laughs> and I'm looking at the machine, I'm like, it took my quarter. Why'd you tell me to put my quarter in there? It took my, why? And I'm, I can feel the anger just rising up, you know? And I start to yell at my sister, why'd you tell me? She's like, I, I didn't know the game would take your quarter. Like, why'd you tell me to put my, you knew. She's like, I didn't know. And, Give me a quarter. Give me your quarter. I don't have any quarters left. Give me a quarter. You have a quarter. Give me. I don't have any quarters left. I want your quarter. My mom yells, says, hey, our table's ready. And I'm like, So we start walking to the table. We sit down, and I cross my arms. I'm steaming mad. And the... Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's my oldest sister right there. See, now I can let it go. Man, she ruined my resentment illustration. So this is what happened. I sat there, because it's not her issue, it's mine. And I'm like this. And my mom says, you want something to drink? No, I don't want anything to drink. I want a quarter from her. My mom says, she doesn't have a quarter. I know. So my mom pulls in her purse, and she pulls out a quarter and says, here you go. And I'm like, I don't want your quarter. I want her quarter. So my mom tries to slide it under her table to her. I'm eight, not seven, okay? <laughs> Came time to order, and, and the waitress comes. I'm like, no, I don't want anything to eat. Irrational, right? I stood the rest of the day like that, hungry without a quarter, until today it never got resolved. Today it's been resolved. You got to witness that. So now I can never use that story again. Amen. <laughs> 